two-way tables show information about two characteristics, one presented in the columns, one presented in the rows. For example, the two-way table shown here shows information about the hair color of 100 children. You can see the columns represent different hair colors, black, brown, blonde, and so on, whereas the rows represent the gender of the child, boy or a girl. So what does the 10 represent here? This represents 10 boys, because it's in the boys row, with black hair, because it's in the black hair column. What does the 18 represent here then? Well, it's in the total row and in the blonde column, so that means there's 18 children with blonde hair. What about the 55 here? Well, it's in the total column and in the girl row, so there's 55 girls. What about the 100? Well, that's in the total column and the total row, so there are 100 children overall. You may be expected to complete incomplete two-way tables. For example, you can see that A is missing here and that B is missing there. So the easiest way to do this is base it off the other values in the table. If we want to figure out what A is, we need to look at this column because we know that the total of the column is 36 and the only other entry in it is 21. So we know 21 plus A should be 36. What do you add to 21 to get 36? Well, that must be 15. 36 take away 21 is 15. We can do the same thing for B. 51 plus B must be 100. So what do you add to 51 to get 100? B must be 49. 100 take away 51 is 49. You can, of course, check this because the rows should add up. So 10 plus A plus 6 plus 1 plus 17 should equal 49 if both of those are correct. So we've got 10 plus A, which we know is 15 now, plus 6 plus 1 plus 17. And we're hoping this gives us 49. Well, 10 plus 15 is 25, plus 6 gives us 31, plus 1 gives us 32, plus 17 gives us 49. So we've got it correct. So you can see it's relatively straightforward to find missing values, and you can, of course, check them to see if they still make sense. You can also find probabilities from two-way tables. For example, we have a table here that shows information about how 50 people travel to work. One person is chosen at random from the table. Calculate the probability of this person being under 25 years old and walking to work. So, how many people are there that are under 25 years old and walk to work? Well, the under 25 row is here, the top one. Walk to work is 11, and that's out of a total of 50 people. So the probability would be 11 over 50. We can have a look at another probability. One person from this table is chosen at random. Calculate the probability of this person traveling by bus to work. So we don't care whether they're under 25 or over 25. So again, it's just gonna be over 50. How many people get the bus? That's seven, because the total number of people get the bus. Again, we don't care if they're under 25 or over 25 is seven. So seven fiftieths. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done in a written solution format that explains exactly how to solve the problem. So you can see an example here, I didn't quite get it right, so I've got a written solution that talks me through it and hopefully lets me figure out how I should do it next time.